today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa, I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today it is a first impression with a brand that I have test almost everything and it's from LH Cosmetics and it is their color palette and yeah, this is their rainbow palette and yeah, it's named color so I can take it out so we can take a closer look. It has 12 shades and it has one of each. Yeah. So this is like a true rainbow palette and it has a white, beige, brown and a black as well. And I'm going to use this today for the first time. I have tested almost all other eyeshadow palettes from LH Cosmetics. I think it is one that I don't have, the Golden Age, the Golden Twenties or something. I guess that is the one that I don't have. I have all the others. So yeah, I have tested a lot of their eyeshadows and today I'm going to test this out. So I am actually really excited for this because if I do really like this, which I think I will do, this will be the rainbow palette that I will keep in a future declutter. I am going to do like a decluttering series on my channel. I do not know if any parts has come up yet, but I'm doing that and I'm going to do eyeshadows as well and okay, I would, <laughs> whatever. I think we just get started to this. So I will prime my eyes. So the look I'm planning on doing today is a look that I have not done for so long but that I really love. I'm going to do a red, orange and yellow look. So I will use the red, the orange and the yellow. And as you may know, I love orange eyeshadow, I love red eyeshadow and I love yellow eyeshadow. But it has been a long time since I actually did a look with this, these colors. It has been a lot of green the latest. As I, I'm longing for doing a look like this. And it itches. And do you see my friend over here? He came like yesterday. And it hurts like hell. And also, I don't know if you can see this, but my dry patch on my eyes back and that is actually hurting <laughs> but I will do this so I will just do a super simple look so I will take the yellow and the orange in my crease and then go from red to yellow on my lid so I will actually start with a yellow shade and take it in my inner part of my crease and that is just because I don't want it to be too much orange. I'm going to start with this yellow shade. And I have actually not seen a lot with this palette. Um, on YouTube or on Instagram. And I don't know why. Maybe I'm not uh, the people I watch. Maybe don't love LH Cosmetics that much, or people just don't seem to really like this palette. I don't know. But I'm doing a look today. And <laughs> when this came, I was like, okay, this is just a normal rainbow palette. It's nothing that we haven't seen before, and it's nothing like special. But then I think, I can't remember, it might have been Angelica Nyquist that talked about this, that if you don't live in Sweden, you don't know how like the makeup situation is in Sweden. But this is something really unique for Sweden, like in a store in Sweden, because LH Cosmetics, I think it is available in all... We have a Swedish makeup store that is called Kix. 
they have a lot of different brands and they are one of the stores that has like the right to sell different brands in Sweden and I think in all of their stores in all of Sweden they have LH Cosmetics and this palette and this is not a normal palette from or on the Swedish market it is really hard to find a rainbow palette if you just go into a makeup store in Sweden it is really really hard to find that this I think can be one of maybe two that you can find in the store maybe some from NYX but so for the Swedish market <laughs> this is pretty special actually and when she said that I was like, yeah, that's right, because we do not often see, oh my god, this is really pigmented, we do not often see makeup like this from a Swedish brand and in-store in Sweden. And it is no secret that I do really like LH Cosmetics. I have been with them from the start. Okay, this orange was really, really big minute. I'm going in with my brush where I have the yellow shade just to mix these together or mix, blend these together. I would have loved if the orange was a little bit more poppy orange. But we will see how it looks against the red one. But it was a really, really pigmented orange. I can tell you that. It went on so nice and so easy so maybe I shouldn't go in with that much on this eye and this was the reason why I went in with the yellow first because I didn't want the orange to take over and I'm trying to not like swoop it across my whole crease so far really really good I was first thinking if I should try to do like two different eyes and really do like a rainbow on my eyes. And but then I was now I have missed doing something yellow, orange and red for so long. It has been so much green on my channel the latest. And also kind of much of purple as well, which may be a little bit strange because purple has not been my yes before but maybe it's starting to be so I do really like the crease like this so I'm going in with the red one and we will see what kind of red this is and I will take the red one I don't know how much we will see how it looks because I think it's going to be hard to not have the orange to take over too much of the look. Okay, this red, I would say that it has a little bit of purple undertone. It's not like a true red. I do like it though. And I think. Okay, I. I think I wish that the orange would have been more like really bright orange but I think the orange is leaning a little bit to the red side and I wish that the red one was not this blue leaning but I guess that that is like a good balance so we really got so they don't get too alike to each other, too alike. So, so, so it's a little bit more of a difference to them. So yeah, nothing against it, but maybe I would have wished for more like true red, but I like this red. I really do, and now I have to like this dry area on my eye. And like I know how to stop it, I just need to go in with a really thick cream. And it helps 
But the thing is, if I take this really thick cream too close to my eye and get it in my eye, the eye won't stop watering. It's... It is not a good cream to have in your eyes. So sometimes I'm like, okay, just fuck it. But I think I need to start using it more often. Okay, do you know what? I actually think that I would try to go in with the yellow first and then use the orange to blend the yellow and the red together because I really want the yellow <laughs> to show up and not just have... I am afraid that the orange is going to take too much space if I go in with it now. I'm fearing that at least, so I'm going to take the yellow one. And we will see now how it will behave on my lid. Because I feel it was a little bit too... Yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but it is a little bit more brighter on my lid than in my increase. And that is nothing that is uncommon. I think that often happens with yellow shades. If you pack it on on your lid, it's going to be a much stronger yellow. I think I will leave it like this, so just a little rim here. It feels like I'm doing that pretty often right now. Just having the yellow up in my crease as well. I have been missing doing these looks for such a long time. And this is just my favorite favorite to do. I think it really complements my eye color and it is fun to do an all matte look. It feels like that has been a while as well. The only thing, the only thing with this <laughs> yellow I I don't think I can show you. No, I don't think you can see it, but you can really see that I have dipped my brush into the yellow and it's not at all the same thing with the orange and the red and the yellow is actually really, there's really much kick up. Oh, okay, this orange is so freaking bright, and so freaking pigmented. Do you see this? This orange, it is amazing. I'm going in with the red a little bit. Tap it off and take it here. And then I am going in with... Now I took the same brush to the yellow and orange. Maybe that wasn't super smart of me. I'm taking the brush for the yellow. That is scatter on it. I'm taking a little bit of the yellow and putting it on top of the orange. Do you know what? I do love this eye. It's just one thing that I see that I want to try to do. And that is blending the crease a little bit better here. I'm in love with this eyeshadow look. This eyeshadow look. I'm, I'm in love with this. And I, I think that this orange is going really high on my orange love list because this orange is an amazing orange and these blended so good together like really really good and now i have cat hair in my nose it's like astrid's hairs they can be like this long and some mornings i'm like dragging them out of my eye I think I just should commit to being a cat soon. Do you know what I want to try? I want to... Or do I really? Because I really do like this look. Oh, I was like, I want to go in with the black one to deepen it down. But do you know what? I don't want to because this is so bright and I just love it. It is just this one I can't... Like get a hang off because it looks so much better on this eye. I guess I would just 
it is not a catastrophe. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, come back with my first impression on this, but I guess you might know where this is leaning. And this is just so bright and so fun. So okay, I will fix my base and then I come back. This is my finished look for my waterline. I took Happy Moon from LH Cosmetics. On my lip, I took Sherry, their Majestic. And I do love this look. As I have said, it's been so long since I did one of these looks. So yeah, this is the look I did with the color palette. And I did only use yellow, orange, and red. And as I said, I think if I could wish for something is that the orange would have been more poppy and the red have been more like a tree red. And now I think it's leaning a little bit to the purpley blue side, but I do really like both of them. The orange is amazing and like it's so, so pigmented. And the yellow, I think it is a good yellow, and I think that these three colors went perfect together. I love the look, it was so easy, and I love how this is. This is a palette that you can buy in stores in Sweden, and I guess for you that live in the US and the UK, and I don't know how it is in maybe France or Spain or whatever, but this isn't a normal thing that you can go in and buy in stores in Sweden because this is not the typical Swedish thing. We aren't that many people in Sweden, so yeah. <laughs> but I do really like this. I do like their other eyeshadow palettes and if all the other colors are like as pigmented and colorful like this, this is a really good rainbow palette. I will do a brand review on LH Cosmetics and talk about all the products I have, might rank them as well. Um, but I'm going to wait with that a little bit because I want to try the other colors. I really want to dig into the blues and the purple to see how they are. Can you see Astrid? I don't know what she's doing. And just to see how they are and how they are to work with because the colors I've used today aren't usually a hard color to do. It's maybe a little bit hard to find a good yellow but to find a good orange or a good red isn't that hard but to find a good blue and purple that you can work with is a little bit harder. So I want to do at least two more looks with this and I am going to try these neutral colors as well. I might not test the white one because maybe it's in the corner. So it will at least come one more video, maybe two more videos with this. I might do them in the get ready with me or when I do something else. But yeah, I want to wait a bit with my LH Cosmetics brand review where I have tested this palette more because the other palettes I have tested more than once. And I really want to like figure out, is this going to be a rainbow palette that I want to keep? Or is this going to be, do I going to keep one more rainbow palette or not? I don't know. So yeah, <laughs> I want to test this at least two more times, test more of the colors to see, but I do really like this look. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to be. The colors was easy to blend together. The orange is absolutely amazing. I think that was all. And also another thing that I do really like about this palette. I like that the names are just the color. It's easy to pronounce and it's easy to remember. And yeah, that was all for this video. I really loved you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.